You're watching Poindexter Lounge for the unit. What's up, nerd family? Welcome once again to the Poindexter Lounge. My name is Enosh, aka Enosh Fett, and it is good to have you with me in the lounge today. Now, look, if this is your first time to the lounge, just know that the Poindexter Lounge is a place for nerds. It's a place where you and me and my crew, meaning all of our nerd family, can get together and talk about the things that we love. Things like TV shows, movies, games, sci-fi, fantasy, comic books, superheroes, toys, and so much more. And if those are things that you enjoy, if those are things that get you out of bed in the morning and get you spending your hard-earned cash and your well-earned day off or your time then hey you have found the right place all right so we would love to have you here so please hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and also hey give this video a thumbs up give it a like all right so that tells youtube that you're digging what we're doing all right so uh today is a special day in the lounge uh well this week actually because this is suicide squad uh week yes the suicide squad uh is coming out uh this week and so these are the figures we are going over all the figures for the movie the suicide squad there are four in total and then uh, they build a king shark figure you can also buy the king shark figure separately i'm not sure why they did that i i've been looking and i haven't really noticed a difference between the two uh variations so maybe there's some difference i don't know uh i'll have to look a little bit further into that but for now i have the four main figures and the build a figure so today we are talking about blood sport we have already uh, gone over peacemaker we're going to be going over polka dot man and of course my fave Harley Quinn. So uh, be looking for those after this. But today we're going over Bloodsport and uh, Bloodsport is somebody that not a lot of people know about. And so we're going to go ahead and talk about him now. I'm really excited actually that he's in this film. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about him now. All right. Here is the Bloodsport figure in the package, as you can see here. Uh, it's a standard packaging, although these uh, Suicide Squad ones are a little bit bigger because they do contain the uh, King Shark build a figure pieces in them and those are those are pretty big uh, so they you know take up a little bit extra room let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging now up here at the top it's got McFarland toys logo it's got 22 moving parts right there and then of course uh, like they've been doing lately they put the logo from whatever it is on the top here so it says the suicide squad it's got a nice clear window nice big open window here this is uh, for ages 12 plus you see the figure really well inside there and the build a figure pieces and his swords with no gun don't ask me why and then down here it's got the dc multiverse logo and it says blood sport and over here you can collect all four figures to build king shark this is number two of uh of these and so uh, we did john cena last time this is our biggest build a fig yet so uh so there you go so we'll see how big king shark really is this is the right hand side of the box. It says DC Multiverse Blood Sport. And then down here at the bottom, it's got McFarland Toys. Here is the left hand side of the box, and it says The Suicide Squad, that nice logo there. And then it says Blood Sport, The Suicide Squad, and then McFarland Toys. Here is the back of the box, and uh, this looks pretty good. Although I do have kind of an issue with this. I, I don't like it where it shows one thing and the figure is another thing, but that's a pet peeve of mine. Up here, it's got the McFarlane Toys logo. Then it says uh, each figure comes with a collectible trading card. Of course, this is what's on that trading card, which is Idris Elba. But yet the figure does not come with an alternate head for Idris Elba, uh, where it's just his head. Uh, it just has the helmeted version. So we can't make him, him look like this. Plus, you notice there's not this orange and blue color that the figure is. I mean, there's some blue hints kind of there, but it's mostly black. I mean, there's a little bit of hair, but if you look at this figure, once we uh, get into this, it, it's not this at all. So this is a bad representation of what the figure in the box is. Over here, it says collect to build King Shark. And here is, of course, the second set of pieces and how you put King Shark together. You can collect all the figures, and we're going to. We already did the John Cena uh, review. We're going to do Polka Dot Man next, and then finally we're going to finish it out with Harley Quinn. 
Down here is the McFarland Toys social media uh, outlets. So you can contact McFarland Toys all throughout there, follow them throughout there for more information. And then of course you can always write them a letter at that address. And then as always, just for fun, here's the bottom of the box. Doesn't really mean much, but it's all the, you know, pertinent information, I guess. And then along with the UPC. And now for the part I always enjoy probably way too much. And of course that is opening these. Now I noticed with the, um, with the Peacemaker one, he had a lot more attachments uh, as far as these straps, these little clear straps to the actual cardboard. So it was actually hard to get him open. So I'm wondering if these King Shark pieces will be kind of the same. So let's go ahead and open him up now. Here is what he looks like in the plastic bubble. I always like to show you this so you can see what you're getting into. Uh, it doesn't really look like too much is going through the plastic itself where you have to worry about breaking anything. I would just be careful with some of these tabs. He does have uh, some tabs here on this hand. So you wanna be careful of that. And then of course around the ankles. So just be careful when you're pulling those out that you don't you know, break the hand off or anything like that. Both of these swords are held in just by some tape, so just uh, be careful when pulling these out. But it's kind of a soft plastic, so they do bend. Here is everything that the figure comes with. You got the figure itself, you got the two King Shark pieces, which we will put to the side and then assemble and actually do a, uh, an episode on. Put those to the side. He also comes with a standard stand, two swords, and the card. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, sculpting of the figure itself. So one of the things I'm very disappointed with this is uh, this is just kind of generic. This does not look like the figure at all, and I can or the actual character. That does not look like the same thing at all. Uh, yeah, it, this this is not this is not the same. Uh, there's no alternate head. This is not a helmet that can come off. So like I said, you can't actually see Idris Elba's head in that this is all you get. And uh, these colors don't match. It looks like what he looks like in the movie. So I'm kind of disappointed with that. Uh, if you didn't know that, the, the figure looks all right. He's kind of got some sculpting here on the face with kind of like a, a skull mouth. But this is kind of like a generic visor. These colors are very generic. It's, it's not very detailed as far as the colors. This reminds me kind of of the Flash from Zack Snyder's Justice League where the, the parts are there, but they're either colored wrong or they're not highlighted. Like the Flash had the, the silver bands and, and those weren't colored silver. This just looks like some generic orange thrown onto a bunch of you know parts. I mean, you got some straps that are kind of you know chiseled in there, but, and I guess this thing, whatever this orange thing is right here at the hip. Uh, here's the back, just kind of a standard piece. And this is kind of a rubber piece that goes over this. So this is, this is just like Peacemaker, where he's got like a piece that goes over the body, where this is, this is rubber. You can see here I'm pressing in on that. So this is, this is like a rubberized plastic. Um, all this is just hard plastic. Uh, yeah. And again, I'm not digging these new pelvic pieces where it's actually not even part of the figure itself. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at his articulation though. Here is the head. The head will go all the way around like so. Uh, get a little bit of up look there. Not a lot, but a little bit. I mean, you see when I do it straight up, you really don't get much at all. He does go down quite a ways. And then uh, his head will go side to side, just like that. Uh, let's check a look at this. Uh, so, you know, remember Peacemaker did not have the butterfly Hinge. This does have the butterfly hinge though, so apparently they didn't just get away from the butterfly hinge. That's kind of weird. He does go up and down and, you know, around like that. He does have a bicep swivel right here, and then he's got a double bending elbow like that. His forearm does not go around, but his hand is on that typical uh, ball joint. He does have this 
He does have this rubberized piece. We saw this with a couple of the Zack Snyder's Justice League figures, especially Aquaman. It's got like this, this forearm piece here that goes on here. And so it, it kind of hinders the hand just a little bit, but it's not bad. Uh, and of course the other arm is exactly the same. Again, he's got trigger fingers, but no guns. W what's the deal, McFarlane? What, like seriously, what's the deal? I don't, I don't get this. As far as ab crunch, yeah, that's, that's non-existent. He gets more going backwards and he's got more back crunch than he does forward ab crunch. I mean, there's nothing there. So I don't know what this body looks like under here, uh, but this is, this is all, like, like I said, a little soft rubber piece that kind of goes over so you don't get any ab crunch at all. And if he does spin around there, you wouldn't know it. He spins here at the waist. It feels like they're getting really lazy with these now. He's got the standard hinges here uh, in the thighs. His, uh, he has no thigh swivel at all. Like I said, this is that same kind of rubberized piece that is not even part of the figure. So I don't know what they're doing here. Because if, if this piece, if these two pieces come off, he's just like a skeleton of a figure. I, I don't get that. Uh, he does have a double knee bend right there. Ow, that pinched me. Uh, this is kind of a, I don't know what this is. It's kind of like extra plastic here for the boot, but it doesn't do anything. And of course he's got the standard ball joint, but you don't get the full range because of this boot the way that it is. That's strange. And then of course you got the toe articulation. So that's the articulation. It feels like they're getting lazy on this to be, if I'm being quite honest with you. And I don't really dig that, but it is what it is. So, um, it just feels kind of like they just kind of threw this one together. It, it's better than maybe the Mattel stuff from before, but it's got like all these extra little pieces that aren't actually part of the figure. So it doesn't feel solid. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories. First, here is the stand. It's got the DC logo etched in there. He's got uh, holes on both feet. So you can go ahead and put that peg right into his foot right there and it will help him stand up in pretty much any situation. Here are his swords. They're just kind of standard swords. They have these gold handles and they're pretty identical, really. Uh, so again, he has no gun. So let's see how well these fit into his hands. So the swords fit fine into his hands, but like I said, for another character that is known for shooting people and shooting things, and especially when they mention the fact that he shot Superman with a kryptonite bullet, I'm a little disappointed that he doesn't come with a gun, and I'm gonna have to try to figure out a way to get him a gun. Here is his trading card. It says Bloodsport, the Suicide Squad on the front, and then here on the back it says Bloodsport, the Suicide Squad, data file, the Suicide Squad 2021. Uh, it says Bloodsport is a world-class marksman Again, with no gun, specializing in brutality. His hands and anything he wields with them are deadly weapons. Trained by his mercenary father from the moment he was born, from the, the very moment he was born? Okay. Uh, this hardened criminal has but one soft spot, which of course, Amanda Waller uses to persuade, i.e. blackmail him to join the squad. Uh, it says DC Multiverse. Of course, uh, what it looks like from the trailer is that uh, they, they've got his daughter, I guess. Uh, somehow, and they're using his daughter against him. Sounds a lot like uh, Will Smith's motivation in the first Suicide Squad movie. But anyways, originally, I guess uh, Idris Elba was supposed to play Deadshot uh, because Will Smith could not be in the film but uh, they ended up making him Bloodsport instead. And I'm fine with Bloodsport because like I said, I, I like Bloodsport. I don't have a problem with Bloodsport. I, uh, I like the character. I just don't understand why you don't give him a gun. I mean, that's what he's known for. Give, give the dude a gun. So anyways, there is your figure. So there you have it, folks. That is my review of the McFarlane Toys, the Suicide Squad DC Multiverse Bloodsport action figure. What did you think of the review? Did you like it? Do you like these reviews? Let me know down in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. I need to hear from you to know that you like uh, when I do th different things like this. And, uh, and please support these types of videos. Watch these types of videos, all right? Share these types of videos on your social media. And while you're sharing them, Follow us on social media. We would love to hear from you. I'd love to see what kind of toys you collect. I would love to see uh, you know, how you display your figures or your toys or whatever it is you collect. 
please follow us on social media and let's keep the conversation going long after these videos are done. All right. Uh, well, that's about all we have for today, but uh, thank you guys for joining us. Thank you to all of our patrons. Thank you to all of our members of our channel. We're so grateful to all of you guys. We can't tell you enough. And of course, everyone who gives super chats when we do live streams, you guys are awesome. Thank you for your support. And thank you to everyone who just watches the channel. We appreciate each and every one of you. All right. Until next time, my name is Enosh, AKA uh, Enosh Fett. I'll get it out saying, I'll see you in the toy aisle. Stay nerdy. Bye-bye.